I can't get away from you Broken hearts were made for two, I guess And it's so confusing Finding the right ways to Hey y'all, it's your girl Holly J. Um, you could also call me Jaya, but I'm back with the DIY. And by the title, I'm doing the infamous Mew Mew Crystal Embellished Jeans. I saw these jeans on the Real Kyle Sister, as you could probably see in the top corner of this clip. And I was like, oh yes. But honey, they were $3,200. But of course, my mind went straight to I can make those so as you see me here that's what I'm doing and first we're just getting to the distressing part of the jeans um, how I distress my jeans is by cutting two slits into the jeans or cutting a slit um, usually I'll do two because I want to make like a patch of distress wait I want to make a distressed patch um, so yeah, you'll see me cut in the two in this clip, but you can always just cut one um, So I'm just gonna be doing that and I'm gonna just let y'all see that cuz I obviously am not ready to show you the next part yet So I'll be quiet So after you do that, the next tool you'll need are a pair of tweezers. So basically what you're going to do is, and you'll see this much better in another clip, but what you're going to do is when you cut into jeans and if you put your scissors to around those slits and let it fray, you'll see that jeans are made up of two things. They're made up of blue and they're made up of white um, threading. So what I do is I am, well, what you're seeing me do right now is I'm pulling the white thread. It exposes itself. If you pull back and look under like I'm doing here, it exposes itself. Honestly, I'm going to show you an even easier way to do this. But for some reason, I always forget how to distress jeans. So I always go this route first. And then I'm like, oh, my God, Jaya, all you have to do is pull the blue. So you'll see that. But basically, to get a distress patch, you're going to reveal the white thread, which is going horizontally. And you'll see that here closer and closer and more clips. It'll make more sense. But I just wanted to kind of let you know what I'm doing. And don't be afraid of this because I'm telling you, your jeans will show you this. As soon as you cut those slits and you just fray those slits openings, it will reveal itself. You will see white threading and you will see the denim, the color of the denim thread. Okay, so fast forward and I'm like, girl, you did all that when you could just pull the blue. So that's what you'll see me doing now. I'm now pulling the vertical denim blue thread to expose all that white thread that I was originally trying to expose manually. So you can do either way, um, but both ways work and pulling the blue is much easier. So I've done all my distressing, I'm good to go. Um, it's all about how you cut the slits, it's all about the placement of your slits and how much of the white you want to be revealed. Because as you can see, there's still some blue in some spots because I decided not to pull the blue fabric because I like the shape that I was getting from my distress patch. So as you could probably imagine, get creative. All right, so I'm moving on and I'm going to be showing y'all the different types of um, tools I'm going to be using and accessories. So I went on Amazon. I got me 
I did like a search and I got me like um, Swarovski crystal kind of things. I just kind of like picked and choose different things that look like what I wanted to put on the jeans. I have Swarovski actual crystals with a little thread hole. I have um, just like crystals that you can glue on to the jeans. I got some stretch magic beading and jewelry cord. Um, I got like a bag of rhinestones from um, Joann's or Michael's, one of the two. And I went for it. And to be honest, later in the video, I do get more things because these jeans, I wanted them to be full. I wanted them to be so similar. I did not want them to look very knockoffish. I wanted it to be just as elaborate, just as, oh my gosh, what are those jeans? So that most you're going to spend on this DIY is on your accessories, on your jewels, because you really want to fill in the jeans to a good amount so that they don't look PC or, you know, too crafty. And then from there is, again, your creative control on placement, um, which jewels you want to use more of, what shapes, you know. Just, again, go for it. Don't be scared. Use the picture as a guide. But, you know, if you are more statement-like, add more. Be crazy. Go crazy. Like, do you, boo? If y'all want, because I know people like to be exact, I can link the items that I got off Amazon and I can list the stores I went to for the different beads and jewels that I got but also you can look at the picture and it shows you that there are silver like um, embellishments on these jeans and then there's crystal like embellishments so you want to get a good mixture of the two so that it all reflects on one another and it's giving what it's supposed to give now again Go crazy, be creative. I almost did something completely different. I almost went for pink. I picked up the same pink rhinestones that I got in like the crystal silver color. And I still have them, but I decided to just do them kind of like based and inspire on the actual Mew Mew jeans. But I won't be surprised if I run this back and I do something pink. Maybe on like a jean jacket or... Hmm. Who knows? Let me not give too much tea. But yeah, like you could do a whole other color scheme, a whole other thing. But the the main thing is use a mixture so that there are reflective things going on. Everything is not the same. I feel like that does elevate this look. So I will put that out there. But you ain't got to listen to me. You don't. You can do what you want to do. <laughs> Okay, so on to more of the beading. You also need beads, just beads with holes in them that this um, jewelry cord and beading cord can go through. Because if you look at the picture, there's legit crystals hanging from these jeans. They're like chandelier jeans. So I had to also grab some of those. And so I just found whatever I could find, glass beads, anything that resembled the look. It was a little challenging, but I found stuff and I made it work. Um, and I also picked up this smaller cording because the cording I got initially was way too thick. So here you can see my first attempt. It's cute or whatever. I had to figure it out, but I'm going to show y'all what to do. You don't have to go through it like I go through it. I go through it for you. So I'm just going to take my really small beading cord and I'm cutting the beads open and again here creative control you put what shapes and which beads where you want them to I will say it looks much better when you when you don't stack so what I mean by that is don't use all the same beading type mix it up like you see here so now it's time to attach my beads so I did a trial and error with this as well I thought that I would just glue it or whatever. I don't know what I thought. But I did come to the realization and I found a solution because maybe this was going to work whether this wanted to work or not. Because I said I was going to do it, so I'm doing it. So, 
What I came up with is that you're gonna cut many, many, many little slits into your jeans, just big enough for your beading cord to fit through. You're gonna push that through the jeans, and then you're gonna flip the jeans inside out and tie it off. And then you'll cut the excess off and you have your chandelier like you have hanging beads from your jeans i was so impressed that my mind was able to come up with this because i really was lost at first i was like so if glue don't work what do i do <laughs> so as you can see right here as you can see right here i'm showing you how the beading cord is through the jeans and so i made use of having both of these jewelry cords now so I use the thicker one to tie off the skinnier one because obviously that's going to be way more like bracing, um, sturdy. It has more weight to it. So that worked out really well. I used the thicker beading cord to tie off the skinnier beading cord. And I wasn't using the thickening, I wasn't using the thicker beading cord because it was too thick to go through some of my beads that I bought for this chandelier part. So if you end up getting the right stuff, you good, you know, but just know that you're going to be tying off the back of this cord on the inside of the jeans. So you can use the same cording or you can do something like I did. It's going to work regardless. I'm just using what I have and making it work for me. So, yeah. Like, girl, I was so hyped. Like, it worked. 